Um, the decline of Call of Duty in terms of popularity and community reception over the years is a multifaceted topic. While the series still sells very well, several factors have contributed to the criticism and player frustration. Here's a breakdown of some key reasons for the perceived decline in Call of Duty's popularity and community reception. Starting off one with my first point of the day, one lack of innovation. Call of Duty has become a household name with titles like Modern Warfare 2007 and Black Ops 2010 which introduced fresh gameplay, iconic storylines, and revolutionary multiplayer experiences. Those homegrown experiences that you can experience in your living room for the very first time. Groundbreaking. However, as the series progressed, many players began to feel that each new installment offered only minor tweaks and reskins rather than groundbreaking changes. And that was the cycle we were talking about in Black Ops 2. Everybody complained about that. Then Call of Duty Ghost comes out and we really complained about that. And then Advanced Warfare dropped. And it wasn't a reskin. People just didn't like it. You want a new innovation at advanced warfare i personally love advanced warfare one of my favorites essentially it just did not go the way of the dino you know what i'm saying and chugging along they didn't take the year off to figure out what that mess was they should take a year off i'm okay with that i'm okay with taking a year off uh, with annual releases the franchise didn't give itself much time to innovate as a result the gameplay became predictable leading to fatigue among longtime fans and yours truly now big call of duty guy right here when we were in black ops 2 we had a bunch of skins right a bunch of skins you could just buy off the market place for like two dollars three dollars super sick and that was it you also had your dlc packages we call those micro transactions now through the years we've seen it absolutely go up we've seen it go down we saw supply drops come in come out insane so with that being said number two over emphasis on microtransaction. In recent years, COD has introduced more aggressive microtransactions, including cosmetic items, weapons, and loot boxes in some titles. These features often clash with the game's original design as players could spend money to gain a competitive advantage. Not very much so recently, but it alienated fans who had enjoyed a more balanced playing field in earlier titles. Now, if you're not aware, in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Black Ops 3, if you were to get the Obsidian Steed in Advanced Warfare, you are the king of the castle. There is no one that's going to outgun you on any map in advanced warfare same thing with black ops 3 if you had the msmc when it was brought back if you had the mass if you got that in a supply drop you were untouchable so many hours on that game and i only got it a year after the game's launch there are times in that game with that gun where i've gotten long range gunfights and i should not have won with an smg Overemphasis on the microtransactions and that did lead to some player fatigue and it kind of is the way now i mean we saw that with the rose skin warzone we'll get to warzone in a minute uh, we saw that with the rose skin they actually had to take it off the shop ban it for a little bit too we saw that off the one skin the tree the Groot skin you could see through it they had to nerf that number three our third and final point just kidding we got like five or four more points to go through but the inconsistency of quality across the various titles in call of duty you get a Black Ops game, you know what you're going to get. Very colorful, almost cartoony sometimes, right? Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, colorful, right? Very different, very different for Treyarch games. Modern Warfare, not really the same. It's the same yellowish blue. It's been the same. The series is developed by multiple studios, Infinity War, Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, and Raven Software, which has led to inconsistent quality. Some entries are generally well-received. Modern Warfare 2019, for example, while others have been criticized for lacking cohesion and polish. The inconsistent reception of titles like Ghost, Infinite Warfare, and Vanguard has contributed to skepticism among fans leading to lower sales and less player engagement and we can really blame sledgehammer and games for that but at the end of the day it's still call of duty all the same i personally really do love call of duty ghost and infinite warfare but not for reasons you guys think infinite warfare multiplayer not so much i actually played the most zombies i've ever played in call of duty on infinite warfare and that campaign was immaculate ghost multiplayer i really really did enjoy there was like a charm to it vanguard i barely played any of that game and that should say something to you as a call of duty player from call of four i've i've logged in hours and hours and hours usually i sink in between anywhere between 500 to a thousand hours per call of duty title with vanguard i had 115 lowest i've ever had on a call of duty title insane brings us to number four shifting gameplay focus the introduction of futuristic settings and mechanics such as wall running double jumping and advanced weapons left some fans feeling disconnected from the grounded tactical gameplay that initially defined the series it's even though this is a, a major point to why call of duty's kind of just fallen off those people that don't don't like wall running those people that don't like uh, boost jumping and all this other sliding are the same people that said call of duty's not innovating when a game innovates
updates, you don't like it. And I honestly think it's an excuse because you're just bad at the game. I'm being real. <laughs> I'm just being real. I felt like I finally got an edge over the other players who kind of just didn't really adapt as well. And it added a skill gap. I can agree it adds a skill gap and it really just at the end of the day punishes the casual player who's not going to want to sink in. Now. They just want to load the game up, play a few games, get off. Really punishes those people. Once again, you want innovation or not, right? But Black Ops 6, I feel is all around good for casual players, good for experienced players. It's going to be insane. I really hope it's the best. I really hope this is the best medium between the two. The boost jumping, double jumping, wall running. It's a little tacky. It's a little, uh, I'll give you that. But that was my favorite thing to do. When I was clearing a room in Black Ops 3 and I'm wall running, oh, I'm skeezing up on boys. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, the shift to Battle Royale recently with the format of Warzone in 2020 has attracted a new audience, but also changed the core experience that older players love. While Warzone was a hit, its success didn't fully translate to the mainline titles and its frequent updates created balancing issues and bugs in the main games. Come on every other week. Oh, there's a new meta for the Warzone. It really punishes casual players in that way. I mean, it is a, uh, a live service game, so that's to be expected. It's the same gripe that I have with Fortnite. Every time I log into Fortnite, there's a new update and I'm sitting there waiting to play with my friends. And I don't even play Fortnite like that. I used to play Fortnite like hardcore crazy 2021 for five technical issues and bugs now many cod games in recent years has suffered from technical issues at launch including server problems connection issues bugs balancing issues guns being way too overpowered certain perks not working certain kill streaks not showing up when they're supposed to calling in a certain kill streak and another one appearing instead of it a uavs not working violence weapons going off on the radar there's so many issues in the past four years alone with mainline call of duty titles especially in the multiplayer the frequent updates needed to address these issues often disrupt the gameplay, frustrating players who feel that the franchise has become a live beta rather than a polished product. I'm on here simply saying, guys, just test your stuff. Do the stuff normal players would do. Of course, they're going to put a claymore on a dragonfly and see if it sits there, right? You know, we have a beta. I mean, this Black Ops 6 beta, it was being updated every like five minutes, it felt like, and it just kept getting better. The field just kept getting better and better. The sniping on that game is so polished. With Modern Warfare 3, of, uh, the lack of not needing polish was absolutely insane. At Modern Warfare 3, if we didn't have modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 is the mainline game that should have been the game that was out for two years before black ops 6 increased competition over time call of duty has faced stiff competition from other shooters like battlefield apex legends fortnite and valorant not so much valorant anymore but these games have carved out their niches by offering unique mechanics a fresh aesthetic and free-to-play models that contrast with cod's traditional structure 60 dollars now 70 dollars a year many gamers have drifted to these competitors seeking innovation and a change of pace from cod's form and I don't I don't disagree I really don't if you guys feel like it's too much we don't want you here and I don't want you here I don't want your happiness to be sucked out by the mega corporation known as Activision we already know what my stance on Activision is I think they're POS's bro and it's absolutely insane that they keep on going with this life model of Call of Duty Just take a year off please we need innovation we need a fresh game and I really hope Black Ops 6 is this I mean we just got we were happy to have basic round zombies come back are you kidding me are you, what, how did we get this disconnected black ops 3 zombies the best the best zombies has ever been and we're excited to have that back like why was it taken away in the first place i mean nine and black ops 4 is pretty good i really love the black ops 4 multiplayer a lot of people really didn't like it but i did just because it really did have that call of duty feel and it really had that competitive feel and it was you know what it is it really got to find the happy medium between the two and if we don't then the call of duty community is just going to remain divisive and undecisive or indecisive excuse me anyways number seven our final point changing player expectations as the gaming community has evolved players expect more from their games in terms of storytelling game modes and mechanics the cod formula while successful for a time has not always kept pace with these expectations leading some to perceive the series as outdated or less engaging compared to newer titles that push boundaries and the recent titles like modern warfare 2 it really seemed that way it was really dull it was really gray modern warfare 3 came up they kind of polished it up but it, oh, you're really just polishing a turd at this point i mean it was a 70 dollar dlc black ops 6 they really are innovating the the guns look sick player everything is color i can't wait i can't black ops 6 is gonna make or break call of duty popularity wise but it seems everyone that i talk to either one hasn't played modern warfare 3 and is excited for black ops 6 or has played modern warfare 3 and is excited for black ops 6 there's really no in-betweens i really haven't seen anybody really disappointed with black ops 6 they're kind of all curious everybody's curious about black ops 6 everybody's excited for black ops 6 and then there's obviously always going to be the haters that are skeptical of black ops but i really do think that this stale cycle there will be a release with black ops 6 break from the annual release cycle despite these challenges 
Call of Duty still has a large dedicated fan base and continues to be one of the best selling franchises ever. However, to truly reinvigorate the series, the developers might need to take bigger risks, overhaul certain elements, and take a break from the annual release cycle once again to allow for more meaningful innovation. I really do want an Advanced Warfare 2 that is such a hot take to have in a Call of Duty scene. I would not mind another Black Ops 3. I absolutely love them, but space them out. Do not put them four years in a row. That was insane. Let's get Boots on the Ground one year, you know, an experimental COD the next year maybe a near future call of duty a future call of duty and then just you know kind of go back with it right keeps everything fresh keeps everything brand new it'll be cool new maps new game modes awesome what you guys think in the comment section below is this video a hit is it a miss should i go back to slop commentary content i don't know i don't even know if this video is gonna get more than 100 views <laughs> so i'll see you on the next one i really hope it does well I love you all. Be good, be happy to show you on the next one. Please be safe with Hurricane Milton out there, guys. If you're in the area, I pray for you, but I'm out of here.